we are ready to get things underway. The Wild have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Sends a pass over. And he lays him out with that collision. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Takes a shot. Just wide. Handles that one. How many times have we seen the save before from him, James? I mean, he loves the butterfly position. He's real mobile in his crease, and he makes the save. Here's a short pass to Hosa. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Hosa's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. And that's blocked. Quick feed to Hosa. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags him, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Look out. Here they come on the attack. Gives them nothing in front. Tries to get the puck over to Enroth. Steps inside. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Centering feed. Couldn't get it to go. Here's a pass to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Slides it on over to Johns. Well, he's really feeling a play from earlier on the shift, James, and now he's wincing on his way back to the bench. He's going to need some assistance here to get off the ice. Now he takes it over the line. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Niskanen's not going to be able to get away from the booze and the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. Play is called for offside. Well, that hit had to hurt, James. Let's have another look at that one. I mean, he goes down hard, and when you have a hit like that, you're feeling it all over your body. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. Chicago's won the draw. Pinned up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Saad. Here's a chance. Great defensive effort with the stick. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. The Blackhawks have had a great start to the season, and really they've just picked up from training camp. I mean, we saw it. They were prepared. They were ready to go, and they were dialed in, and they've gotten some great games under their belt. But if you look up and down the lineup, they look like they're in sync. Up along the wing. Takes the feed. Cuts into the paint. to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Minnesota's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. Here they already lead in this one, and they've been dictating the pace of play also. Well, they get the game's first goal midway through the period, James, but I liked their game right from puck drop. I mean, the way that they started, the urgency around the puck, they pounded it, they had a heavy forecheck, and now they get rewarded for their efforts. The Wild have taken to the offensive attack. Oh, he destroys them on the play! He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivering and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Rocks him on the play. Reaches out and uses the stick. Into the attacking end. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Drills him. even hit the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's up one zip. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Back at the point, they set it up. Stalls got it along the boards. Broken up by Reichel. Sends it over to Letty. Oh, he just got 
Thunderstruck! Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Michael's known for scoring on a breakaway, guys. His all alone zone ability means he keeps his cool and executes his game plan to get on the board. Keeps the key blue liner, not just because he defends so well, but because he can add additional offense. I'm expecting one of these two players to give their team the edge tonight, guys. Back to you. Scooped up along the wall by Keith. And now he tries to get it across to Hulsa. Got it in the corner. Hammers one. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Hosa's going to try and shake that one off, James. Man, that was a top hit right through the body, and you feel the effects of almost bone crushing, but he gets back up. Past the midway mark in this period. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Harding's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Hey, get that personalized jersey you've always dreamed of wanting to. You finally saved enough money for it. Check out the team store just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Moves it to Michael. A chance up front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Oh, James, you know that he wants to be an impact player tonight, especially because he's playing his former team for the very first time. He wants to send a clear message. Hey, my skill set, it was undervalued, and guess what? I'm going to make you pay. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. Takes it across the blue line. Great poke check on the reach. Champions loving the puck. Moves it over to Silverberg. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Dead eyes him on the play. Here's a shot. And they the score! And that's back-to-back -back goals. Well, nothing like switching the mention and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. But your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Minnesota's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. He got all of that one. Yeah, they're going to fight here. There's been an edge all game and a chip on the shoulder, and it results in a player down. Anytime a player's down, you know that you're going to have your teammates back. This was going to happen either way. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. There's a lot of people in the game who don't like fighting, and you can see the reasons why, but look around in this building. Everyone's standing on their feet and the energy that it's created. Fair to say that was a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have pulled their jets, and here's the upcoming faceoff. The Blackhawks gain possession in their own end. Minnesota's got him along the wall. Chicago's got the puck. Slides the puck over to Sharp. Handles the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. stages of this period, Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead.
Eagles want a big draw on their own end. And he makes a save there. Gets the puck over to Silverberg. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Quick pass to Jones. And a direct hit right there. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. Here's a pass down low. Back to the blue line. Dives in front of the shot to block it. There's a collision. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Posa's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. The Blackhawks pick up steam and are on the attack. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. A lot of excitement to this one as he plays his first game with his new team since being traded. There's got to be a lot of nervous energy that goes with this, James. And one of the reasons why is you don't know the tendencies of your own teammates, the defenders coming back for the puck. So the communication piece, all of this that weaves into being comfortable as you play with the team more. And he keeps possession. Effective use of the paddle on that one. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Blackhawks are going to need to find the details in their game here, James. They're not starting with the puck, and it's a real reason why they're behind. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 2-0 is where we sit. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Puck picked up by Dabrinkit. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, Ginger. Along the boards, they don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Minnesota's on the attack. possession. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. And Ross carrying it ahead. He got thunderstruck. Battling for it along the boards. Slides it over with pace to champion. Yeah, that's a bad pass, and they'll be forced to do this over again. Champion's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Right through center and into the offensive zone. And a strong physical collision on the play there. And he loses control here. Slides the puck over. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Drills them. Here's a short pass to Keith. The Blackhawks take it along the wall. Takes the feed at the point. No good. And he works so hard to get to the middle of the ice and to get that scoring chance, and he just blows it wide. Sod. And he lowers the boom there. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Even though goaltenders get set in their butterfly positioning, they still have to be agile and be able to move across their crease. Right there, that's evidence of it and with that beautiful save. Taken along the wall by Palmonville. Oh, what a dangle! with the glove, great reflexes there. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle.
still lots of time left in the period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Moves it quickly over to Niederreiter. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Here's a shot and the save. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Into the offensive end now. Angles it over to Reichel. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. And he slides it quickly to Sharp. The Blackhawks looking against the half wall. Slides it out front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Trying to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. Moves it over to Seabrook. And now he moves it quickly to Richards. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Huge steal in his own end. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Pass out front. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Moves it to Hobo. Puck grab by Kane. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Wax it into the offensive zone. Quick pass across to the blanket. There's a jolt of energy they need. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Sods moving the puck through his own zone. Tries to feed it over to Champion. And he's knocked off the puck there. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. And he makes the save. Moves the puck across to Saad. The Blackhawks are on the attack. Works it across to Taves. Pass to Champion. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. One on one with the goaltender. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke. And while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Sends the pass over. Coming to the slot. Big save. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes a stop. Minnesota's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Takes the shot. And he comes up with a stop there. Bradlin's depended upon for taking face off. Guys, he uses his quick draw zone ability to win those tight matchups, and it really helps his team gain possession right from the puck drop. Picked up along the boards by Jones. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Tries to get it to Enron. Here they come up along the wing. The Blackhawks gain possession. Slides the puck up from the left side. The Wild have possession along the boards. That's a great heads up play to bring up the pass. Oh, he thought he had it. What a chance there. Oh, geez, a big pass. Oh. And that's three unanswered goals. And as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas. And you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they have worn their opponent down. Now they've got to keep the pedal to the metal. To this one. Shot selection, no question about it. They've had the majority of shots on that. Listen, you have to create your own lanes. 
but it's the mindset to attack and put it towards the front of the net that's really impressed me. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Still has possession. Here's a pass in front. And that's deflected off someone in front. Kane's crossed the line and gained the zone. And he was ready for that save. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Chicago's got to get the puck, James. I mean, to put it in layman's term, one, you got to get the puck, two, you got to score. They're not doing either. Minnesota's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Denies him in front. No, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position. And once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. Puck picked up in the open ice. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Panarin. Centering pass. Couldn't complete the pass. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Hammers one, and that goes off a body. Feeds it on over to Yomerson. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Blackhawks gain control of the puck no. against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Yomerson. Takes it to the net. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Quick pass over to Kane. Minnesota's through center and now in the offensive end. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Minnesota's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Here's a short pass to Niskanen. Moves it in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Passes it to Hartman. Strong defensive effort. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Commonville's taking it from his own end. Nice dish from the left wing. Here's a shot, and there's the save. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Slides it diagonally to Niskanen. From a bad angle, denied that one. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Takes the shot. Crisp's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Minnesota's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Comes up with a monster save in front. Oh, the three again! Dan James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Three-nothing is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night, the other not so much. Taken by Niederreiter. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Sends it in on the attack. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Denies him in close. And now he moves it to Yomerson. Oh, just a great heads up play by Prosser. He carries the puck up along the wing. 
Chicago's looking to break out of their own end. Moves the puck over to the brinket. Quick feed to Silverberg. Moves around along the half wall. Big save in front. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that club save. Minnesota's back home for their next game, and as they kick off, a bit of a lengthy homestand. So let's see if they can try to put together a little run here in front of the home fans. Look at this! Across the line! And they can't get that one to go! Yeah, you can see this one coming, Cheryl. Yeah, and you hate to see this, James. A player down, never the look you want, but you also know that it has to be responded for. There has to be action when a guy's on the ice. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting. But what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. Tough to watch fighting, but sometimes when it's a tilt on the road and you're a winner, it creates a ton of momentum. They've got the debris all cleared up off the ice, and both teams step in for the face-off. And they take possession here in the offensive zone in time to go on the attack. Chris last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Moves it quickly over to Taves. The Wild have taken to the offensive attack. Gets a hold to Taves. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Minnesota's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Granlin's won the draw. Slides it across to Debrinkit. Slides it to Granlin. Puck dumped in. Takes the pass. Slides it over to Jones. Swap up. Slides the puck across to Granlin. Quick pass to Niskanen. Takes a shot. Oh, off the post! Minnesota's players are continuing to press, and I really like this about their game, James. Yes, they just fired one off the post, but they're playing with the lead. They're continuing to attack. They're not sitting back at all. Oh, oh he gets hit again! Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get lambasted over and over again. Unable to reach that one. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Here's a short pass to Panarin. Now a quick pass to Debrinkit. A shot. Oh, what a great glove save on the play. Standing by, Carlin Bade with her own thoughts on the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Michaels looked good, even though he hasn't recorded a point, guys. I think he stayed engaged and has stuck with it, and that's why I'm giving him my vote for our matchup. Keeps possession on the play. Hard hit, frees up the puck. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Minnesota's manufactured plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. Chicago's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. When you're trailing in a game, sometimes you try and do too much. You're overly aggressive, and you try and do a high-risk, high-reward play, and that's exactly what happens here. Unfortunately, it goes the other way. Scores! And you got a steal for the kid there. Cheryl has his quest for his first shutout. Not going to happen. Yeah, I know. The rookie's been so good. He's been so effective between the pipes, James, and every goaltender wants that first one. Get it under their belt and try and build upon it, but it's not going to be tonight.
The Blackhawks have to find a way to get a couple more here if they want to try to salvage this one. Taking calculated risks, James, and jumping into the attack and pressing upwards. Now you may give up some opportunities the other way, but you got to go for it. Quick feed to champion. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Scoring feed! Scores! What a finish on the play! Well, this is a great goal in the backhand, James, and it looks easier than it is. I mean, you got to get it off quickly. You got to have a smooth delivery, but you have to have the power and strength to get it off. The Wild haven't looked this sharp offensively in quite some time, and they continue to attack in the third. Yeah, there's been no letdown at all. They've continued to be urgent on the puck and find ways to open lanes to get the puck to the net. This has been a great entertaining game, James. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Champions going to play it to the corner. Oh, comes up with a stop. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face off. Richards is all around the puck, or the puck is all around him. Look at it whichever way you want, but when you have a point streak going, it tends to follow you around. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Steps into the offensive end. Can't get it to go. Grabbed along the board by Prosser. And that's a great hits up play by Yalmerson. Into the offensive zone. Slides the puck down low. With the blast. And that goes off a player in front. Chicago's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And a nice save there as play continues. Crisp's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. And the win streak comes to an abrupt end as they completely laid an egg on the ice tonight. Yeah, and sometimes when you're on a winning streak and you're playing really well, you just assume that it's going to continue because you're feeling so great, you're confident, you're communicating, and then all of a sudden there's a roadblock, a team that's got more steam than you do, and really they just didn't have an answer tonight. Hope you had as much fun as we did here tonight, and we will see you the next time. At least we hope so. From all of us here at EA Sports, take care, everyone.